so my fix for uh, the stuttering was to try my other two capture devices, which were much worse, and then mm -hmm. eventually get annoyed and tired and plug back in the original one, and now it just works. So, <laughs> modern technology. Yeah, not great. Uh, welcome back to part um, part sixteen. A uh, couple couple orders of business, real quick. First of all, I forgot to show off some of the new swag that we got. I have like every <laughs> every like hat. The cap of twilight, the cap of wind, and the cap of time. I only have the tunic of wind, I think. Uh, and I have the 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 Vamido divine helm, which is the one for cold. And I have the electric one. I don't have the the water one. Um, and then also, we didn't finish the DoorDash story. <laughs> with, with oh, the, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Give you some more and some more context. So, uh, so after canceling and going to the customer service uh, and basically being like, hey. What the fuck was that? That was five hours. Uh, and they were, they were like, without even really trying, they were like, All right, Josie, you know what? I'm trying. This is the second time I'm trying to tell the story, Josie. I'm, I'm, I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> uh, after <laughs> after uh, five hours, they basically like, I was like, this is five hours. is unacceptable. They were like, all right, how about $88 in DoorDash credit? And I was like, all right, that works. Solved. <laughs> That's all I needed. I'm good with that. And uh, that's the story of how it happened. Any questions? I'm seeing Master Duel again. I'm I'm going back <laughs> on mute. My landlord is being my landlord is moving stuff into the uh, room next to us, and Josie believes that there's an intruder. And I understand that, like, yes, privatizing how housing is that's violent crime, <laughs> but she has not fully understood that. Like, no, we need to use our words. So, uh, you can mute for a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to quickly give a situation on what Carlos is dealing with here. Uh, we agreed, because cause, Juliana is out of town, Let's, we're going we're gonna to work really hard this weekend to record as much as possible. And uh, so we made a plan, we're like, alright, we're going to start at noon, we'll probably go until 6 with some breaks in between. And uh, we had tech issues on my side, that's, you know, that's, that's my fault, I guess. Uh, and then uh, Car when we were about to come back at 2, Carlos is like, oh... Uh, I'm on a call with my dad, so can we push to 2.30? And I'm like... He called Shh. me. And I'm like, sure, sure, that's fine. This, these things happen. Uh, and then he... Uh, so it's about 2.02. And I'm like... Or I'm sorry, it's about like... Uh, yeah, no, it's like 2.15. And Carlos goes, my internet went completely off. And I'm like, oh my fucking god. Uh, and then he comes back like 10 minutes later. He's like, okay, it's all working again. I'm like, okay. We start the recording up, and then uh, and then Josie decides to give us uh, her uh, her musical number. So things are going great in the uh, in the Wrath of Zelos recording she's a studio. Strong, she's a strong woman, and you know, honestly, I I do love the bark. This, that's, that's my toxic. You you told uh, me this already. I don't want to talk about it again. You've already told us this in this series. Oh no! Uh, all right, let me. So, so also so, no on, on, no no oh, no I, okay, no <laughs> no we're done. Oh, so, yeah, we got talk no, so real quick, I don't know if you noticed, we're just surrounded by dead guardians. Occasionally, Carlos, occasionally in the series, we do have to talk about the gameplay we're experiencing. Oh, true, true. Very true. occasionally. Uh, and I also learned um, something else, uh, and I'm sure someone commented on this. If you equip the champion's tunic, you can see damage numbers. Um, oh, yeah. But we didn't have that equipped. It turns out these three also have the damage number feature. Uh, and show the numbers of H or next to the HP bar, uh, and that's why they were they appeared and disappeared. I'm sure someone in the comments told us in an earlier video because that happens, but that's why. All right, so uh, just a spooky cave with a bunch of uh, broken robots. I can tell you this shit what right could now. Could go I can wrong. I can tell you this right now. That motherfucker with all of his legs. No fucking way. That's not alive. You can always spot. Yeah, this one too. <laughs> like. The ones that have like all their legs intact, I'm like, no, you're real <laughs> for sure. You're real. <laughs> like, I do wish it gave you the ability of like you could just tear the limbs off. You can. Oh, but when they're a lot uh, asleep like that. Yeah. No. Oh, also, so if you have the DLC installed, the uh, travel medallion, which is a custom teleport point that you can set, uh, is in the back of this cave. What uh, the fuck? Yeah, you didn't know about that. 
You can basically no, lay can... it on the ground, and then you can sh uh, you can teleport there. It's pretty fucking cool. Uh, and then once I open this chest, I don't know how many of them, but some of these are going to wake the fuck up. So... <laughs> Uh, let I mean, me just... it's just a mad dash back to the to the entrance. Is it? Or is it a chance for glory? Alright. Oh, yep, there we go. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, surprisingly not the one that we thought was going to be. Okay, ready? Ready? We're going to do something magical here. There are f four of them that are awake. Alright. I'm ready. <laughs> it will be hilarious if this does not work out. Okay, well. <laughs> kinda worked out. I got one. <laughs> That's better than nothing. Uh, Alright. Yeah, eat sure. Up. What do you mean, yeah, sure? That is better than nothing. Objectively, that's better than nothing. Is it? Let's have a discussion. Alright, here we go. Ready? Okay. I think I just fucked that one up. Yeah, I think I think the magic was the um Gor the Goron shit and that's why you survived it. Wait, wait, why not go to the side and try to Okay. You're just gonna try this again? I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> oh hey! <laughs> I got one. Listen. Did, did, oh you Listen. <laughs> For glory. Fuck! It's the timing. They don't all, like, hit me at the same time. That's the problem. Alright, man. I definitely have you. This is easy. I'm not even going to use the Hylian Shield for this. Okay. Should've used the Hylian Shield. <laughs> I messed up the timing when I switched mid. That That's my fault. That's my fault. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. What a work of art. Alright. Um... Now, I'm convinced this thing is alive. Like, there's no way, right? Aha! You stupid bitch! I got him. Oh, wait. I don't have a... I don't have a shield equip. Okay, okay. Who needs shields? That's fine. Timing's off again. Oh no. I'm gonna fuck up. Yeah, it's uh, I've, I've got latency again. Uh oh. Let me try and do it early. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, nope, not that time. Here we go again. Ready? 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 Oh! Nailed it. Alright, one more. Maybe. Okay, that didn't work. That did not work out. I'm assuming Carlos is in there died at this point. Okay. Got my mojo back. Yep, hold on. I wonder if only the, the guardian weapons can uh can chop off their limbs. Or like effectively chop off their limbs. Hey uh Carlos, a little quick check. Are you uh you I'm there? glad that I missed all of that. Yeah. Whatever you just did, I just tuned in. My internet is... Yeah, I can tell because you're on your phone. I'm going to murder... No, I'm not. It might I'm be taking that back. Yeah, don't... <laughs> you're going to, theoretically, metaphorically, verbally... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have some very strong words with a customer service manager at my internet provider's office. Yeah, you're an idiot for not... not switching to Fios, by the way. No, I did. Fios is coming Tuesday, but I still have to get through this weekend. I don't know what to tell you, man. Is this the Unemployment Chronicles or is this the Carlos Has No Internet Chronicles? It's a bit of both. I'm interested to see which one gets solved first. Uh, if it's Tuesday, probably the internet. Unless they're like... Like, is your building haunted? Like, why the fuck can't they figure this out? I I think what happens is... It's no, say, an old say it the building. correct way. Which is what had happened was. Oh, No. I don't know. What had happened is if I know Thank what you. had happened. I do not know what had happened. So what could have happened? <laughs> this is just what okay. we. What this we is just. This is just for us. Is that like, I think because there's a guy who lives in the basement, 
and I think there's some wiring that probably goes through his apartment, and he refuses to let any of the Optimum guys fix it. Wait, so That's what? weird. Is he just not letting anyone in his apartment? He's the super, and he weirds me out, so I don't really like pressure. He typically tells technicians to go through the fire escape, and I'm like, what, like, why am I telling this dude, all right, you won't have to climb climb down this fire escape? As well as I'm like, they're not, one of the technicians pushed back and was like, I'm not climbing down that fire escape because I might lose my job because one guy did that and now the policy is no one can do it because he was going down the fire escape and some person was changing and oh. that person was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, so now no like, one's allowed to. Yeah, but even still, I'm like, on a pure safety scale, like, Nah, you shouldn't have to do that. You should have, like, you should be able to get access. But then I'm like, also, my super, why can't you just, like, he not going to be there for a while. Do you need me to chaperone him? But also, he, he's a weirdo, and he don't look clean, so it is what it is. Don't look, again, Carlos, it just, in a different in a different life, you would have been a very popular racist. I'm just saying. Like, Wow, wow. I didn't say nothing else to Besmirch's his character. I just said he looked dirty. It's a wild thing to say. He's a construction guy. He constantly covered in sheetrock dust. Am I? What is happening here? Oh, uh, my Discord reloaded on my laptop, and so I had to switch. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. Weird. I can't believe I got it that way. Yeah, there's like a slight latency. I probably shouldn't be parrying uh, Guardians right now. Because uh, <laughs> they're fucking me up. Okay. Can't get your shit wrong. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fight him the old-fashioned way for once, which is to disembowel or to <laughs> to delim him. Okay, wait, wait, base. <laughs> that did not work. <laughs> we both yeah, suffered we from that. <laughs> okay, this is this is how normies. Fight him. I don't like doing it that way. <laughs> don't question it. I probably could go and look up the footage, but I'm lazy, as we've confirmed. Do you not lock on in um, Elden Ring, or do you just straight raw dog it in that as well? Uh, I lock on to bosses. And tougher okay. enemies, but I, I I've told you this before. I like to be able to, to to switch to enemies quickly, and I know you can just be like, we'll just flick the targeting thing. I, I struggle with switching targets in the middle of battle, so oh, I'd, no, I get, so I get I'd, that. I'd rather I'm... just free roll. I also just like in the same way that when I play um uh, when I play fighting games, I don't mm -hmm. uh, I'm very bad at blocking. Like I I'd rather just dodge than block. It's a similar thing where like I like the freedom of movement. Which is bad. That doesn't work in fighting games, by the way. Like, Yo, that, don't, that only gets you so far. You really can't dodge everything. You have to learn to block, and that's why I'm bad at fighting games. Fighting games are one of the, like, one of those hobbies where every time I play a fighting game, I literally have a harder time conceptualizing what dudes who really are good at fighting games do. Oh, because I'm just and, like and I, also, I am. Real quick, you were like, "Why didn't you lock on?" I was locked on the entire time, except right at the end when I just need to stab him in the face. I didn't need oh, no, to no, lock no. on then. Like, no, no, I, I was just wondering in general because I was like, "Oh yeah, an Elden Ring." This is I, I'm constantly locked on to someone, and I was just like, "Nick doesn't do that." And I was thinking about that today. I was not, like, "Not as often has, as I should." You, you are correct. I was just like, I was thinking about the the freedom of movement thing, and I was like, maybe I should try to just stop walking no, on no, so it's, much. It's, no, don't. It's, it's yeah. It's very much a uh, it's a it's a learned style that one that I've done for many for many games, many years, and that's why I'm able to do it. I would not recommend anyone do it. Learn it the correct way. Don't do it my way. Um, it just is a like that's me being wrong, and there's a mm -hmm. like. The skill ceiling to the way I play versus the correct way to play. Um, the skill ceiling is much shorter for the way I play. Like, or much, uh, yeah, like, like, there's a limit to how effective I can be. Something I don't, I think about now when I replay older games is you ever think about, like, you moving the right analog stick a lot less when you were <clears throat> younger? 
where now I feel like I'm moving that bitch all the time. I'm mostly navigating with the right stick rather I wish than you, I moving. I really wish you hadn't told me that while I'm playing because now I'm like active. It's something I don't think about. Oh. Like it's it's a natural it's like it's like saying when you think about breathing where it's like, "Well, yeah, oh, I do true. it naturally," but then you say it and now I'm thinking about it and it's in my head. Um, Alex, Alex gets so upset when I do that <laughs> to the point where sometimes I'll fuck with him. Like we'll be out somewhere, and like he'll take a sip or something. I'm like, "Yo, you ever think about like breathing or sipping?" And he's like, Ugh, Ugh. <laughs> "That's really funny." Um, but yeah, I I typically just like I think I use pretty minimalist moves when I when I do it. I basically just center the camera and get to uh, <clears throat> where I need to be. Like, I'm not, like, constantly, like, I'm not, like, ah, I'm moving the camera where, like, I just, like, do the minimalist, like, movements just to make sure I get there. It's, uh, it's people on PC that I feel like is, is more interesting because they're the ones who have the mouse, which is much better for camera. Yeah. Like, I, like, I personally, because I've done it for almost three decades, uh, prefer a controller because it's just, like, the two sticks feel very natural to me. But, uh, I totally get that mouse is better for, uh, for FPS and stuff like that for that very reason. Do you think that people always say, like, play PC because shooting games are easier? And I, I think there's truth to that. But I'm also like, why don't they take the Dark Souls approach there and be like, uh, well, real gamers play with a controller? <laughs> like, why did, why is it, why do they get the exception? I, I try playing shooters on the PC. And I honestly, I'm a, but again, I think it's because I'm a, cre- like, comfort creature or whatever. I do prefer Whoa. playing with people. As ah. well as I'm like, I can't imagine I, playing. I love, like, I love that some shit will be going down in the game, Carlos. And, you and don't I don't reference. Like, not, not a fucking beat. You're just like, you're just like, anyway, my story is pretty important. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, I just, it's wild. Honestly, like, it honestly doesn't even phase you. You're just like, you just keep going. <laughs> like. I'm just watching somebody play games. Why would I stop telling my story? My story is brilliant. I'm oh I'm filling up the air. Oh my god. I'm your I'm your living uh, podcast. Everything about this is a mistake. Uh, cool. I guess we can continue. Uh, we can continue searching around now. We gotta. Uh, Julia. I gotta find that. I don't know. I don't know where this ferry is. There's a there's a ferry in like the middle of the map, and I can't remember where it is. Um, it's I know the one in the desert pretty well, and I know the other two. Uh, I just don't know this one. I just googled fairy map and I got a bunch <laughs> of shit. <laughs> you know what I, was I do appreciate that though. Like, I'm just like what can go wrong. Like, <laughs> I was like, of course, fairies in Legend of Zelda. That's, what else? That, <laughs> that's like a Tobias Funke thing of like, <laughs> like I'm looking for working men. <laughs> Where can I find this? Brilliant. Right. Don't change a thing. Uh, all right. I'm trying to look for more towers. I know there's one on the back side of Hyrule Castle. Um, because it's the one that has like a skull on the top of it. Are you allowed pets uh, in your apartment, by the way? What? Are you allowed pets in your apartment, by the way? Yeah. I was gonna say he I definitely like knows. A lot. Yeah. He he's met her multiple times. Um, all right, so on the map, uh, it's uh, just south of the Tabantha Tower. If, if that's the right one, or is that too too uh, west? For so, you? so this is the the map zoomed out. What can you uh, tell me where oh, to wait, go? My bad. Um, can give you, me a general area, and I can figure it out. It's pretty much just west of there. Of like, you so keep like, going west at, from High Rule, and you'll be you'll find it. Like along uh, this way, southwest, southwest. So, so right, right here ish. Yeah, uh, go up a little bit to the left, a little west a bit more. Keep going a little bit more west. Yeah, right there. Right, we'll, so. we'll put a uh, put a mark there. Because oh, remember, it's... okay, that's to the north. Yeah, so that's that, that, that's fine. That a general yeah. idea. If you get get me close enough. Plus, if your uh, directions were really it's... bad, that's gonna be really funny for me. So. It's southwest of the tower, so if you get to the if you get to the tower, that we'll, yeah, that we'll find that. Help. We'll find that tower. Okay. Where the fuck? There should be targets, right? That's what these windmills are for. Where the fuck are the targets? I give up. So Just because this is happening, Juliana, I'm now going to tell you a story of what I did during the break. 
Juliana okay. just told me that some man she went to, she's at a pool party in in Vegas, by the way. Depending on when when people watch this. She just said a man just told me I look like the white Beyonce. How am I supposed to respond to that? How am I <laughs> I'm out here, you know being a bum. Are you a man out here enjoying Vegas and telling you you look like the white Beyonce? Are you having hold on, wait wait a minute. Are so you what? feeling self conscious here? What's going on? No. No, I just, I just, I'm a little self-conscious as well as I'm like, I don't need to, I don't need to hear, but I know you are a gorgeous woman. I don't need to hear men call you gorgeous. I know you a prize. Yeah, but what like, I going- yeah, but don't, don't like take offense to it. Oh no, yeah, I don't turn, take any offense. No, no, no. I mean like turn it back towards her and be like, yeah, you know, he may be oh, on no, something. No. That's it. That's oh, a slam no. dunk, sir. Like <laughs> never, she, some never, man complimented her and you can get the fucking credit for it. Like, what do you mean? Like. <laughs> Just say no, like I, you know I, he's got he's got some he's or just say something like let him cook, like oh, he's no, onto he, something. Oh no no I, I already sent I already sent sent it back of like yeah you're damn right. Um, <laughs> okay great. <laughs> but you get my you get my real thoughts you get the fun thoughts. I uh I consistently, am, so you know how I'm really good at puns and that and everyone fucking hates that. Yeah. <laughs> like you're like I don't know where this is going and I fucking I'm. I'm I don't like this. I'm, I don't like this. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's something you told Amy in a pun way. No. Uh, so okay, one, Amy appreciates puns occasionally. Like there's somewhere oh, I'm glad if, if that the she if, has a reasonable reaction if, to, to if, a pun. If the wordplay is good enough, she'll be like, "All right, that was pretty solid." Um, but also, the same part of my brain that makes puns is the same part of my brain that makes sexual innuendo or that makes like compliments and stuff like that, like turn of phrase okay. compliments. And so I found out after dating Amy for a while of, of like, oh, I'm really fucking good at this. I'm really smooth. <laughs> and like, that's a dangerous thing to know about yourself. <laughs> like, I'm like, I already know, knew I was very persuasive because my voice does a lot of that heavy lifting. And I'm not going to, that's fine. I am my voice. I don't, and I like my voice. So that doesn't bother me. But uh, it's one of those things where it's like, I have to like kind of keep in mind sometimes where it's like, people tend to just do what I say. And that's a power that I don't know I'm responsible enough to handle. <laughs> like, just cards on the table. I don't know that I can wield that responsibly. <laughs> like, sometimes I make people do things just because I think it's funny, and I think that's bad. You shouldn't do that. Carlos. Carlos. Sarah Lynn. He's gone again. We're gonna hear him in uh, his phone call voice in a second. He's gonna complain about uh, the internet again. Do you guys want to take a guess on what Carlos is gonna say when he comes back? Do you want to guess what his reaction is? I'm gonna bet he's gonna he's gonna be very upset with the technician again, or he's gonna say like, "I can't wait until Tuesday." Let's take let's take bets. Let's figure it out. Chat. Yo, you you slandering out here? I didn't, I only <laughs> got back on the I can't wait till Tuesday thing. No. I uh, yeah, I, can't wait. I was trying Is to internet- I was trying to guess what your response would be when you came back on your phone. <laughs> I was no, trying, the, to, the, trying to figure out what you would go with. Oh, you were talking about like how persuasive you are yeah. and like do get people to do shit because it's funny. And I'm like, oh yeah, because I am consistently someone. If you pitch me a dumb idea, but I think it's a funny idea, I'm like, oh yeah, w- let's fucking do this. Let's see how that rocks. Which, to be fair, out. if someone else does that to me. I'm also right for it. Like you and I have a very dangerous disposition where when it comes to uh, do it for the bit, because we will, <laughs> and, oh, yeah. and that's dangerous. We, we, I think we're both intelligent guys. Okay. But yeah, but <laughs> I well, think oh, sometimes we will do things that we know are not intelligent, but is probably going to be pretty funny, which is a toxic like, trait <laughs> that we both share. <laughs> if it's like, Oh, th- this is something that is funny. No one's getting harmed. No one's getting money out of it's, their pocket. Well, so I'm like, yes. This this might be the difference. For me, it's not no one is getting harmed. It's no one important is getting harmed. like no no one innocent is getting harmed. Is really what it comes down okay, to. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not har- I'm not harming some like fast food worker for a bit. No, like, no, 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 no. Like you know those. Yeah, it's just like oh, could I, I fuck with if if you work, that, if you work with re- retail ever, you don't fuck with retail. Like that's oh, that's yeah. like man, those people. <laughs> 
those people are on by a thread. I'm not going to be the, the reason. I'm not going to be in someone's fucking note. Like, I don't need this. Like Someone's 13th reason? Yeah, I don't need to be that. Like... So I, I don't I don't fuck with people who are uh, uh, in a bad way because uh, you know because I'm a human and I have empathy. Uh, but if you're like someone who's well off and kind of an asshole, oh yeah, that's different. That's different though. <laughs> that's not a bit. That, that, that's karma. That's karma. Karma came right back around. Karma is speaking through me to punish you and those who have doubted me before. <laughs> yeah, that's on you. It's typically you. it's typically people who I'm like. A, you'll be fine. And B, that you can kind of insult them in a way that lets other people know that they've been, they've been insulted, but they're like not sure. Or they're like, I don't know why people reacted that way, but I'm suspicious now. Like that kind, like that kind of reaction of like something felt off about the way they just spoke to me, but I can't pinpoint it. Dog, I I am so annoyed right now because the modem it has no lights on. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on it's got no lights on what do you mean you get your answer other other than power but like it's still it's still working right now but i don't trust it so we're gonna is it cool if i stick on the crappy phone uh yeah for now phone I mean, audio? it's, it's okay. not great but i think the audience will understand it's not like Justin, it's not so unbearable that like it can't i need you to fix it just so we can we can finish this video and then i can try to figure out what the fuck to do for the next one Oof. I'd rather consistency for the wonderful audience that we have, but that way they can enjoy this viewing experience without having me drop in and out. Uh, hold on, hold on, fellas. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, oh yeah, but but oh yeah, to get to the original point of what I did during the break, so I went to the dispensary as an, like an adult, and I'm I am dressed like a schlup, Nick. I look. You you have this weird thing where you don't really if you're not seeing people you know you don't really care what oh, you look like and I'm not that level. I have like a baseline of like I need to look like somewhat presentable if I'm going out in public. Unless I'm like going to the store like that's like down the street or something and I'm just getting like one thing that I'm like maybe I won't I'll just throw on a t or like a sweatshirt or something like that. You will look like a homeless emperor. When you fucking walk out, just like in sweats, in like an old fucking high school te like sweatshirt, uh, unshaven, unkempt, and you're like, I don't care, I'm not seeing anyone I know, and you know that's admirable to an extent, because uh, because right. because what really bothers me about that state that you like to leave the house in is that you're okay looking like that when you're visiting friends, and that that's a poor reflection on me, I think, of like you've decided that Nick's not worth fucking putting pants on. Like I'm not I'm not jeans worthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I mean I, I can tell from your reaction that you know damn well that this is all true. Like <laughs> <laughs> the funniest bit is so Juliana has had to have a couple co like bo before me and Juliana lived together, she never had to have this conversation with me. But since we've moved in together, like pretty much since co since COVID. Hit, I was like, I'm no longer wearing jeans out or, or like anything that I have to wear a belt for outside of work. <laughs> outside of work, I'm wearing sweats. COVID hit you pretty hard. <laughs> COVID enabled a dark part of you that has always been there, but yeah. you just finally Dude, gave no, into. It's well, the issue it used to, or the thing was, it used to be I would travel to go see Juliana, so I was like, I can't just rock sweats and bummy ass t-shirts i need to have clothes for all the events we're about to go because i'm gonna be out there and i don't want to look like a schlub but now that i live with her and it was well i was walking the dog and it was raining so i was just like oh yeah i am not i'm not running into another soul out there i'm just gonna stop into the dispensary grab the shit i the one thing i need and then leave so i oh, assume be i assume because we're having this conversation that that was not how it went down no. One. <laughs> okay. What? So there's like there's two dispensaries on the block. One uh, is like the line is a little bit as well as it has a has a weirder crowd where I'm always just like you guys are definitely buying something harder in the back over there and I don't want to be here for that. And then there's another one which is the black woman owned one. Mm, but okay. the thing is they it's also an event space in the back. So I'm thinking it's raining. 
there's going to be no one in there. I go in and it's, let's just say it was a lot of pretty women and I'm coming in here with the dog looking like I just came off the street corner like after sleeping in a puddle. She's wet, I'm wet. So just to, was, so to con- so to confirm something that I think I I I, I think I can see where this is going. So while Juliana is being called the white Beyonce, which by the way, real quick, just just a, just a quick note, love Juliana. She's great. Happy for you. Happy that you guys are together. I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> I'll just say it. I don't think. I think. Uh, I think he was embellishing a little bit. I think she's. Hey, a, hey. I think. I think your girlfriend is very attractive. Uh, in a, I don't want to do anything with her because she's my best friend's girl, and also I'm very much in a happy, committed relationship, and also just not really interested. Uh, just generally, but <laughs> it's getting worse the worse I go on. But, um, but I think that uh, saying that she's the white Beyonce is uh, perhaps an embellishment. Uh, spe- my spe- on, specifically, my on specifically because I don't think they share the same like features. <laughs> like that's that's oh, the no, main no, thing. No. No. How, when you're trying to get a woman to cheat on her man, you have to sell campaign promises. You have no intention of keeping these promises, nor the statements that you're saying, but you see something you want, so why, you need why, to lie. Yeah. Why do you know this? We just had two videos ago. We were talking about how we were against <laughs> cheating. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm just messing with you. Um. What what Carlos is not. To, oh my God! You've got to be fucking kidding me right now. We just didn't yeah, want to grab on link. Okay. All right. All right. I'm looking slumpy. <laughs> my woman is looking gorgeous, and I'm not. I'm not saying I'm compartmentalizing it, but I was just like, damn. All these girls are are also they're asking to pet the dog, and I'm like, I look homeless right now. <laughs> Instead, I'm, I'm embarrassing to my woman. I love it. Juliana's out here. Sometimes I think about it's just like. Someone going to ask for a photo of Juliana, and I'm like, how many photos does she got to scroll before she gets the one that's like, oh, this is a good photo of my man, and shows the positive. Where I'm like, her, I'm like, you look exactly like the photo. Where me, I'm like, I know I photograph very poorly, as well as I don't take photographs of just me. It's always me and like eight of my boys. To the point where Juliana hated my Bumble profile because it was like every other photo was like me, you, or Alex. Yeah, which is bad. Who the fuck is this guy? Wait, I was in your bubble photo? Yeah, you were in one of them. What? <laughs> we barely take photos together. What do you mean? Carlos, exactly. I've known you I've known you for like what has to be at this point like twenty five years. And I think there are like ten photos of us together. <laughs> like I don't take the Neither like, do I. I. Have- like it's that's what I mean. It's crazy. <laughs> but a lot of guys don't take photos. Yeah, I guess that's true. But that's like, just such, that's ne- just such a fucking funny thing to say. Like I was, I'm very shocked because I'm like, there's like three of us as adults. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> which one was it? Like, <laughs> I'm like, I could probably like you could probably describe it, and I know which one it was because there's so few of us. Like, <laughs> but Juliana has so many photos that like I remember when people were like, oh, what she look like? I'm like, look at her Instagram. There are photos of her there, and me, it's just like, no, you do not know who I am. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> And they're all petting this dog. And I'm like, yo. And they asked me about the dog. And I'm like, yo. I was like, this, I, can you just let me buy my weed in peace? I clearly do not look like I'm ready to engage the public in discourse about the, the optics of my dog. All right. So real quick, you did just prove my fucking point, which is well, that's why you have like a base level of like acceptable <laughs> dress when you leave the, the apartment. Like Nick, I, I, I believe you. I believe you are correct. You are correct. You are a correct a hundred percent so rare. but <laughs> but you are forgetting my laziness factor will inhibit me from doing the correct thing often carlos i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something that's a game changer ready okay ready how many belts do you own wait what how many belts do you own i own like four okay leave one of them in the jeans just leave it oh yeah just leave it just so, pull just, and then just pull up the pants and then uh walk out that's all you gotta do so like the new the new rule with Juliana that she is now oh important. God. It just gets worse every time you open your mouth. It just gets yeah, worse. Yeah, because because at the end of the day, I can't embarrass her. Like, no. and I know sometimes, and I know sometimes, like I be I be walking that line, but like now I have I have I do do the belts and the jeans method because I'm like I gotta start. I can't keep looking like it's COVID twenty twenty every day. <laughs> no, we're twenty twenty three. 
<laughs> exactly. Society is reformed. Back. I have to go back. I have to start. So, but now that Uniqlo got these nice pants that are stretchy, they look like jeans. Oh I love them, too, man. Oh my love god. Of, peak level of comfort and peak level of fashion. I've never looked better and sat better. Carlos, there was a time when you were definitely like the most fashionable person I knew, like in person. And I'm like, yeah. what, what the fuck happened to you? <laughs> like this is this is even before COVID. Like this was like, like <laughs> I don't know. Just I don't know, man. No. I mean, I mean, thing. granted, I am allowed to pull off what I call the gamer look, which is just like jeans and like a hoodie or like just like a graphic tee. Uh, and like obviously you get more when the occasion calls for it. But I'm like, I don't think I've ever seen you dressed like that. <laughs> you, you're like, OK, well, I'm either attending this wedding yeah. or or. No, I'm, 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 in, I'm in a full or, or I'm in a full sweat sweat garb. Can I ask, yeah, can I ask you a hard. question to, to just so I, how I can know how close I zeroed in on this? The hoodie you wore to uh, to the dispensary was it for a high school wrestling team? I don't remember the, the hoodie I wore to Spencer's or did it say such a wrestling? I, I don't know. No, no, I don't. I don't think. No, I usually don't wear the sweaters. I usually wear like. New soccer sweaters I have because that's the other thing is like there's so much nice athletic leisure out there, but I do I do need new sweatpants. That's one bad thing is I was wearing sweatpants with a hole in the crotch. It made me Car- because Carlos. I'm away. Carlos, you can't see it. Carlos, I can see it. Carlos, I don't care Why? that I can't see it. You know it's there. I know. Where is your self respect? Like, <laughs> what happened? No, you, I, I, you got a woman and you were like, all right. Never trying again. <laughs> like, yeah. So that's a, I. I have. A, I've had to get the thing. The the other funny part is when I dress up for work, I get compliments all the time of how I look at work. Yeah, and, and do you know why now? <laughs> have you figured it out? I put all my effort there because the baseline is so fucking low that when you make an effort, they're like, "Hey, Carlos, good job. You put on pants today, yeah. buddy." Like, <laughs> Yeah, are you just realizing that that that's why? Nah, man. It's, you know, I do know. That's why I said it. No, nah, I've also got, gotten better in terms of like finding more comfortable clothes that look cool. Because like a lot of it is just like that's not the solution. <laughs> like, that is the solution. The grout fit, <laughs> as great as the grout fit is, oh you can't gosh. be rocking a grout fit in, for, out, outside. You gotta at least mix it up with some blacks and some white and stuff. You know, keep keep it aesthetic. I just as well as another another thing is in New York that is very common. I just like can't, you just like embraced a certain kind of lifestyle that I never would have thought from you of all people. I would say I expected better of you. I don't know what to say. Now being comfortable. Oh, I think I know which tower this is. Fuck, I hate this tower. It's surrounded by a uh, by lizard folk. And they'll shoot you down from the tower, I think. So you got to go around and kill them all first, but surrounded by water. No thoughts on the vibes, okay? Sorry, I was—I literally just realized that I've been walking around my apartment and not watching the entire I, time. I did notice you were doing that. I could hear you walking around the apartment. I just—you're—you're you're such a weird dude, and I feel like you've gotten so much weirder with age. Like you were—you yeah, were, were already so weird, and it just keeps getting weirder. And I don't really know what to what to do with that info, other than just like that's just how you are now. Yeah, it, it, something I think about of just like <laughs> some shit I do is weird, man. It is weird, like the way Juliana hates um, that. Like Bastard. I still, I'll still drink a Coke as my like go-to drink anywhere. Wait, what? Yeah, a regular Coca-Cola is my go-to drink. That's boring. I, I know. And it's she, uninspired. She lets me know. And yeah, she should. <laughs> She's right too. She also, she also doesn't like that I drink soda in general, and would prefer for me to stop. I uh, I drink a lot of soda, and I don't know that I could stop. My body might shut down if I do at this point. 
Yeah, you do drink a lot, so. Yeah, and so and do I'm you, always, apparently. So, what do you want from me? Like, and I, I quit mine because I ain't got no job. But um, <laughs> you, I will say you do, you do got the 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 drinks on deck. Where here, I'm I'm living, I'm subsiding off of straight water. You uh, like, you water. Know, actually, now that I think about it, you com you commented a while ago, uh, mm -hmm. that you were confused that I only had like flavored beverages. You're like, where's your like normal cola? And I was like, I don't drink normal cola because it's it's boring and I don't really like it that much and you were like shocked so like I for a while when you would come over and like visit my dorm or something I would try and stock like normal ass fucking coke oh yeah good times uh, more uh, more c complaints about the rain is uh bomb arrows don't oh, work yeah. in the rain fuck, fuck fuck the rain man it's really an annoying mechanic it's just really bad or at least don't make it rain that much. Make me miss the rain. I feel like it should be more rare for how much it affects the gameplay. Did I ever tell you about the cool thing that uh, Days Gone had? Which It had dynamic snow. What do you mean? Like, it, depending on where you were in the map, it might start snowing if, like, the weather, like, if it started raining there. So, like, it was like, oh, this is a really cold part of the map. And then it's like, oh, well... It's really, uh, it's really wet here, so now it's gonna start snowing. Can you walk here? And I feel like it's, I feel like snow is like the last, like they they need to implement snow in a fucking open world oh, fuck. game, so I can they, be amazed. They did, and Red did too. Well, yeah, I, I want I want more of that though. Okay. As so, well as the so not not they need to they need to do more. Well, right. no, it all like. I meant more of like, oh, you're gonna watch the seasons change across the across the map rather uh, than just like mean. different stationary seasons. What about uh, printed seasons instead of stationary? I fucking hate you. Is it printing just stationary? I don't know. Just the goal was to annoy you. I didn't have to be accurate. Sound off in the comments. Also, uh, taking that shock three uh, protection made this a lot easier. <laughs> Almost immediately. <laughs> yeah, I was watching that. I'm like, what? how is he surviving this? Through sheer force of will. Do you know what? Uh, can I, I wanted to tell you this because I, I think I forgot to. I uh, when I finished Thirty Rock, Hulu was like, "All right, let's auto play into the next uh, closest series," and I was like, "Okay," and it started playing Will and Grace. I was like, "What?" I get that. <laughs> you what? You're like, no, 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 what, what you see is... <laughs> Honestly, I've never watched Fool and Grace, and I've been like, maybe I should get on that, because Sex and the City was so fucking good. God, I can't stand you. I think what hurts me Low is that I know you mean that. You say, you're saying that with your full chest. I've, I've been... Because Juliana will rewatch it, kind of like how sometimes I'll just throw on The Office, like, I, I need something. Um, and I've been like, oh, maybe I should start from, from the beginning again, because that, sh that show slaps, man. Someone else told me I would enjoy Sex and the City, and I also told them no. Here was my friend. Right. I think it was my friend it, it's one of the funniest shows I've ever fucking seen, man. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Um, Where are those waves? I don't know. It, the other good thing about Sex and the City yeah. is it opens yeah. up a whole new conversation yeah. with women. That's a great aspect. Stop. You get to talk just, to just, every, just every every woman wants to talk about Sex and the City. It's like how every guy wants to talk about episodes of Seinfeld they find funny. Charles, I'm begging you, just stop, please. All right, all right, all right. You stop, you stop. How did I miss him? Was I under him? Okay. Why are you fighting him now? Don't get out of here. Shark resistance is still up. Just get out of there. Because he was annoying me. <laughs> I didn't need to kill him. I just wanted him away from me. And I knew if I got him to drop back down to the bottom of the tower, he'd lose sight of me. Uh, yeah, pro tip for this tower that I've never realized before. Just go complete shock protection. Made it uh, made it piss easy. <laughs> what? Do you not like the phrase piss easy? No, I was actually thinking about how I would... The first time I did it, I wouldn't have even thought about doing shock resistance. But it's like such a cool idea of like, hey, if I know how to cook it... Because the game, the game doesn't really give you a... Uh, like, reading anywhere of like, this does that. Unless you, like, you go and look up a guy. But it's really cool that like, oh yeah, you fucked around with this shit. 
it would probably work theoretically and then like to see if it actually rewarded. Yeah, my, my main reason was I realized um, <clears throat> they were going to use shock arrows and it was going to shock the water next to me. So I was like, okay, it'll probably protect against that. I didn't think it would protect against direct attacks. That's pretty cool. When I uh, when I made max shock resistance, I was trying to save it because I know uh, we're going to need it when we do the, uh, the desert one. But uh, I felt like that was a good usage for it. All right, we got to pay up and go find that fairy. Does that seem? Does it look about right from what you remember? Oh, shit. One second. Uh, uh, I think you got to go. You got to go more, more south. Okay. Wait. Let me make sure. Uh, wait. Wait. Give me more time. I'll, I'll, hold on. I feel like I'm your guy in the chair who's got, who's gotten up from his chair. <laughs> Where did you say it was? I have the names of like the stuff now. It was like by the fucking. Why is my... Sorry, I, I went so far back in my shit that I've gone. I, I'm now seeing the <laughs> when I Google the fairy map. Good, good. <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah, it's back down. Great. Um, it was more south from what I believe. Wait, zoom out. Go right. I'm just gonna look it up my own at this point, Carlos. <laughs> you could not be less helpful. What I'm the sorry. fuck was that? Like, you're the I guy in the chair, and you couldn't even be the guy in the chair. Like, just fucking. I I got high before we started. Oh, now you reveal it. Oh my god! Of course you did. Why did you hide it? I should have. I should have known. I should have fucking known. You said you went to the dispensary, but you already told me you plan to get high today. So, and then you said you didn't get high for the first one. So I was like, okay, maybe he's just chosen not to today. Uh, and then we find out, nope, that was not the case. <laughs> I just, you're, you're an unbelievable person, and not in a positive. You say that, but like the funniest thing is like you love me. That's the funniest <laughs> in the world to me. <laughs> There's no one I annoy more in my life, but I'm like, yep, yeah, that motherfucker does love the it is out of me. It is insane to me. I, I've told you, I've talked about this multiple times. I'm a weird and wacky person, and. I have to play the straight man against Carlos every fucking time we talk to each other because he's just such a ridiculous person. But any other person I interact with, suddenly it's me. <laughs> and I'm like, why? How can this be both things at once? I don't understand. Because, like, you're wacky enough to have a wacky ass friend like me. I just, I don't know. Like, was, Jerry was, is just as wacky as Costanza because it's just like. That. That's who's his bet. That's who's his man. So of course, that's like he's making, he's man. a bit. He's made, he's living with wack like a, a wacky life. He's gonna meet other wacky people. Oh, there's a shrine there. Okay, that's good to know. Juliana got a wacky ass friend. And he was telling me about how he got shipwrecked one time, and I was like, "What the he fuck? Got you got fucking, shipwrecked? What? <laughs> he got shipwrecked." <laughs> In in the fucking what? I'm imagining yeah. like a galleon, like just fucking run ashore, <laughs> and I'm like, what? How? What yeah, life are you leading? Was... Were you swashbuckling? Like, how does this happen? And the funny thing is, like, he's telling me this story, and he, the he doesn't think it's funny. <laughs> that makes it so like, much funnier. Is... <laughs> he's like, this is a a normal course of behavior. Of me living my life, I don't understand why you guys are laughing. And so he's just like, "Yeah, I've been, been on boats, and this person wants to sail this big boat from hey. like Maryland back to New York." And I was just like, "I've never done that before, but what could go wrong?" <laughs> many, many things that go yeah. wrong. And then he's telling me about like, yeah, at one point it started taking on too much water because there was a giant pole that was that was getting larger and larger as we were getting closer to shore. And then they had to just sit out there and like outside New Jersey and wait for the Coast Guard to come and just pray that the fucking pump uh, didn't uh, didn't break and then they would did, all go did, fucking down. So I know, did you have this question? Because this is the first question I would have and I want to know if you asked this. And if you did ask this, this is going to be a great friendship moment for us because it means that we're too similar. Did you ask if he took a bucket and started just like bailing it out? No, I did not. <sighs> the only because... It's a shame. I 
was looking at him and he was telling he was telling it so straight that I was just like I literally thought like oh this is gonna be a tragic story where he tells us the guy with him had died and then I was thinking about this movie me and Juliana had watched where this girl goes on a uh, on a boating trip with her boyfriend just based on a true story um and the boat went down and she or like they got hit in a storm her man died and for like 84 days she had to like wait out in the water until she finally got help and i was about to ask 84 you, like, days of, yeah like a long ass time a, a number that i was like that's three months out there in the water just treading um, water for 84 days she had uh, maybe not 84 days maybe i'm high you can't yeah. remember i'm like <laughs> what see. I don't even think that's possible. Like, yeah, maybe not. Because I'm like, did she have food? Yeah. Also, like, food and drink. What do you mean? Like, there are questions you don't uh, have answers to. Who was Aaron Rodgers' ex girlfriend? <laughs> Shailene Wood. After this in the movie. I. Uh, whatever, Carl. Continue. Just, 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 whatever. And so I was just like, is that what happened to you? And he was just like, ah, nah. He was out. He was out there. He was with me. He was fine. He didn't seem at all bothered. We were just happy that the pump kept working. And I was just like, oh, you were, well, I guess. Then you were like, well, then I guess this is fair game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, man, I should have asked him about the bucket shit. He would, he would have been like, why would I do that? And giving me like a 14 point like, this is why you can't use a bucket when the boat's going down. <laughs> I'm just imagining just like at. Just like him sitting in there, and just like you hear in the background, you're like, and just like while he's got a fucking bucket and pail. He doesn't live a whimsy enough life, I'll say it. Yeah, uh, he, he, he also went on a metal cruise, he's one of those heads. A what metal cruise? Like, it was like they were doing listening to heavy metal all day. That's weird. Uh, I I wouldn't think that the I like I'm fine with metal. Metal's great, but like I wouldn't have thought that there was a lot of overlap between cruise goers and metal enjoyers. That that feels weird to me. That doesn't seem right. I I get it. I guess metal is kind of an older genre at this point, right? Oh, the movie was adrift. Adrift was the movie. Yeah, looking up. I didn't. I didn't. How long she's actually out there? I'm really struggling with this. Because I'm getting the wildest fucking story in the background. I'm trying to focus, but also I have questions. Um, yeah, you know, the, the title didn't help me. Because cause, <laughs> cause if you say the movie was called The Drift, I say, of course it was. <laughs> like, why wouldn't it? That's not the question that I had, Carlos. I had, how long was she out there? Like, uh, 31 <laughs> days. 41 days. Okay. In the water. Yes, in the water. Treading how? Water. This is based on a true story. Um, okay, she went on on this with her fiance on October twelfth. Oh the vessel was caught in the path of Hurricane Hurricane Raymond. Ship was hit. Uh, the yacht capsized. Yeah. No, it just says uh, she was just the inside of house. She had she sold the story for a book. I ain't reading the book to find out how much food she had and shit. No, buy the book on Amazon Kindle right now. Read through it. <laughs> We need this. I don't care how long this video is. We need this. <laughs> We're going to ch- change it into a live. A live book club. Speaking of book clubs, uh, Amy is in a book club. And uh, I just think that's really neat. I just think I, she's really neat. The older the older I, I get, the more appeal of the book club I get. I don't want to do a book club. But what I do want to do... Which I feel I like is some, I don't want to do a TV club either. I want to do a video game club. I want to find a video game that is like maybe up to twenty hours long, uh, and then have a group of people play it, and then we can talk about it at the end of the month. Oh yeah, that would be cool. I think that'd I mean, be, isn't that think that'd be fun as hell. Right what do you mean? Actually, maybe you should. Why don't you pick that for like all your all your all your peoples? Are you saying Everyone you, on channel? You, saying you want to well, participate? I'd participate. Uh, we all talk about themes and shit. I think, it, I think the difficulty cool is, is finding games that fit that criteria. True. It's about, I like the idea of it. Uh, I do love... One of, one of the things, like, the appeals of podcasts for me is I love hearing, like, three guys on a podcast talk about one game 
and then like really get into it as especially after you're playing that after you just finished playing that game. Uh, that makes maybe. me sound like a little. Hoe. Did you say like a hoe? <laughs> yeah, you're like ah oh, man, I'm I'm one of them. Yeah, you got a parasocial relationship, is what you got. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Ain't that about a bitch? By the way, if you have a par uh, parasocial relationship with Carlos tonight, that's totally fine. That that's a lot. That's, yeah, that's that's, that's, you, that's different. You are our friend. We do. I think you're not you more than me. Uh, we do often forget. Like, oh right, we're recording. Uh, like, yeah, I never. No, that's you the don't. Thing, like, no, you don't. <laughs> like, it's it's weird to me that people have heard me heard me speak. As, again, it's like ever since they, Twitter gave us that fucking like views on your tweet shit, I was like, why? I didn't I didn't want to know this. Well, it I wanted to does know it help less. that that's that's just clearly fake? Like, right? Like. You could you could make a tweet, set it to private, and then look, view it yourself, and it'd be like, yeah, seventeen views. Like, True. Like it doesn't. It's not real. <laughs> Even a little but bit. But like, it, it, it's just it's the pure it's the pure ideology of like, if they ever fix ideology. it to make it real. Yeah. The idea behind all that shit. Ideology. I don't want, why are you making fun of the way I say words? <laughs> not ideology. <laughs> ideology still works. People know what I'm talking about. Does it? Would I call yeah. you an? Can you just reverse the pronunciation of I? Can I call you an idiot? Yeah, you could. <laughs> yeah, and then I'd sound like a real big idiot, <laughs> just like you do right now. It's, it's funnier that way, though. <laughs> uh, I'm just cleaning up shrines. We we gotta get those, I do uh, think those hearts up. That's not to get too deep here. I do. Oh think boy, here we that's go. An, why why I say things weird is because the way my dad says things. And so like if I've never heard someone else repeat like that word, I will just say, Oh no, like this is how you say that. Oh, and no, I think that's, that's right. where I got the I thing because he says I, his eyes like that as well as he can't say years. The man says ears. Wait. Wait. He says ears when referring to To a year. Like a, a, like, a length oh, of time. Happened. Oh, that happened last year? He'd be like, that happened last year. Interesting. I don't really know how to feel about that. Yeah, it's weird, man. It's weird. My parents my parents are also wacky weird. The older I get, the more I'm like, I I'm uh, this I'm a victim of this. I didn't choose this life of wackiness. It was thrust <laughs> upon me by wacky people. I kind of, but not really. Like you are far more wacky than your parents to a like very noticeable degree. No, my mother is oh, I forgot to tell you about my mother getting uh getting pulled over. Oh boy. Okay, and so Valentine's Day. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Why am I not surprised? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? The best part is She's not the one who called me to told me she got pulled over. I'm going to get Juliana and me bagels. And I get a call from a FaceTime call from my sister at like eight in the morning. And I'm like, what's going on? Is everything okay with the family? She I answer, she's cackling and she goes, Guess what happened to your mother? And I'm like, <laughs> What happened to my mother? And she goes, She ran a stop sign. <laughs> you oh, know Oh no. Oh no. No, no. Nothing. Nothing bad happened. No, no, no. It's just. It's just me realizing it's biological. It's. It's biological. Because you run stop signs. <laughs> like. <Okay. laughs> did you, did you even make this observation stop. that that's that maybe this is where you got it from? Like. Some stop signs don't apply to me. That's they not true. <laughs> Every stop sign applies to everyone. Nope. They don't apply to me. Oh, I'm it, really upset. Right in now. my hometown, they don't apply to me. For the rest of y'all, you better stop it. <laughs> so yeah, my mother got pulled over, as well as she had an expired license, and her the day she was getting it renewed was that day. Does she also so she live got in a, a sitcom? Now she, has, now she has a court date, and she's like so upset because she's like my mother tries to paint herself as like I'm a sweet innocent woman. How um, could I sorry. ever? How did does she does she kind of frame herself as like a uh, I'm a God fearing. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know where this is going? <laughs> yeah. Right. Does she? Does she? Does she's a, a law abiding Christian? <laughs> where have I heard this before? 
<laughs> I don't. I don't know. Who all he's this. Talking about. All this time. All this time, I thought it was your father that you had more most in common with, but no. It's uh, oh, no, it's your mother. <laughs> Interesting. Me and my mother are are very similar. Where well, my sister and my dad are like the same exact person. Interesting. Interesting how this has happened. This is not what I thought. This is not what the teachings said. This is this is not what the lore said. Well, no, there there are parts where like my sister will call me my dad, like, and she's like, "You're the mo- the most annoying aspect." Where I'm like, I'm extremely oh, cheap, and I'm always annoyed at being places. <laughs> So, yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's true. You are one of the cheapest yeah, people I know. Si- my sister will like take me to like. My sister's a pretty woman, so she has a walking down woman the street experience of like. I hate you, <laughs> and like she goes to bars, people are buying her drinks, so she's really only spending. She's spending no money. She's gaining money because she's she's drinking for free and having fun. But as a man, she takes me to these places, and I'm like, "Great, it's thirty dollars. It's like thirty dollars for a goddamn drink. I'm trying to buy two of them. What the? Why am I here? This is not a place for me. Real uh, too loud. Real, real quick question. Real quick question. What? Why um? Why are you and Larry David the same person? <laughs> we are both people that have been uh, that come from. Uh, background marginalized identities in America and we we, we share that trauma and we and we have to carry that you know you have to you gotta keep you you gotta keep living life that's how me and Larry David are similar as well as we are victims inherently <laughs> just, just, just a lot to take we in. can we can we can never fail people people can only fail us yep mm-hmm mm-hmm I mean, I guess if you're Costanza, that makes me Jerry, which uh, has some ups and downs. Yeah, you are. You are definitely Jerry. What do you mean? I, I, do you mean I am definitely Jerry. What does that mean? Elaborate. <laughs> you, Jerry. At least there's, there is always a rationale to the behavior that he exhibited. Whereas it's like, yeah, that is that is off for that person <laughs> to do that. I, you should react in that way, but maybe you went too far. Costanza is always just like, I am creating problems. <laughs> I am here to create problems. There were no problems before. I'm here. That's a problem for everyone. That's just wild. But I'm not the problem. I'm inherently a victim. No, <laughs> not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Carlos, you've People created say, so many more problems than you've ever solved. The, I will the say, net gain of amount of problems you've created to amount of problems you have solved, it's like negative thousands. Like, just like... I told... One night I told Juliana, I was like, the reason we're together is because we're both fucking characters, and that's what we... Ha- that's the real crux of what we have in common. Because I'm just like, anyone who... Just, who would describe me? I do feel like they'd be like, "Oh, Cross is a fucking character. That guy's a fucking character." And Juliana, I'm like, "That she's a fucking character." A lot going on here that I don't really know how to respond to. But this is what <laughs> I mean: is like heard... you make me sound like the most normal person in the world when I'm very much am not. <laughs> like, and that's not me being like I'm different. I'm interesting. Like I do weird shit, and it's yeah. always <laughs> overshadowed by the shit Carlos does. Like. <laughs> And I'm just like, I don't know how to reconcile it. Like, I get away with a lot because you distract from it is really what happens. Like, <laughs> Nah, but sometimes I do be wondering why I am the way I am. But I I can't find that answer. I'm like, yes, I should be dramatic about this. This will make it a lot more entertaining. Uh, I, know, I get bored very easily. Yes, you do. <laughs> and how do you solve that boredom? Because, uh, like, I was telling them. Not that I would ever. Uh, we might have to scrub this if I if I don't get a job next week. Um, I, I tell them like sometimes I think about like what jobs can I have if I'm trying to watch all this soccer? Because you can't really have too oh important of a job that like <laughs> soccer. Going That's on, not you know? a way to live your life. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I think the job might be too important, so I can't watch soccer during it. I just, like, you're a weird if, dude. Like, 
if, if I was pre- if I was president of like a giant corporation, you can and like you cannot be watching soccer. People are gonna be asking you questions, and you can't be like, "Yo, yo, 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 City got a four thirty kickoff right here." I think you know that's exactly. I think that's exactly the level of uh, you can rise to and get away with that. Like, just just go ahead. Uh, that was true. The, la- the last job, that was the one really nice thing of like being in charge of everything and be like, "All right, y'all, y'all know what the fucking deal is. I'm gonna be in this office. If you have a goddamn question, keep it to yourself." I just, I, the way you live. I just, hey man, I, I know it's a sickness because Julian gets mad at me when like we go brunch somewhere, and City are playing. I'm like, yeah, I'm watching on my phone. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm still here. I'm engaging in conversation, but this game was happening with or without me, and I need to be seeing this shit. Just absolutely insane behavior. Uh, I remembered for some reason uh, that there's a shrine buried in the goddamn wall here. Uh, oh, I could miss. It's not too late. Hold on. That was a hard. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, oh, good. Hold on. Nope. Hey, friends. <laughs> I finally oh, did it. I finally did it. It barely did any. Oh, wait. No. That's not yours. <laughs> what do you mean? You can't do this. That's not yours. That's stealing. This this went so wrong so fast. That that is a humbling experience. You get stabbed with your own knife. Like, he hey, made me hey, drop hey, my hey. weapon because of it. Oh, and they know to go away from the box. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're not falling for none of this shit. Although I think they just did just get struck by lightning again. <laughs> okay. Oh, how do you guys like? Uh oh. How do you guys like it when uh someone uses your weapons? Huh? Not a big fan. He has my shield. He has the highest shield. What do you mean? What do you mean? He's not, He's not a hero. What? What the fuck? What in the? <laughs> this is absolute insane. What is happening right That's now? It. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he got struck by lightning. He is very dead. Alien shield. Oh, I can't hold any more weapons. <laughs> you better throw that shit. All right. That was a uh, a lot. A lot happened there. We don't have time to talk about all of it, uh, but <laughs> a lot happened. Some some things happened. Some things were said. We we can't really, you know, nobody that, nobody's that's to bl- a highlight. Really, nobody's to blame. How you? Nobody's to blame. It just, got, it just sort of happens. Jacked. You got you got your shit took. I I threw it at them because I was like, they'll get struck by lightning. They did get struck by lightning. They didn't seem to really care too much. And then uh, here we are. Listen, it's not my fault. That that's all that we need to, to to gain from that, or to glean from that, is it was not my fault. Could have happened to anyone. They survived a bee attack. They survived multiple lightning strikes. How it just, it, you can't bring this back to me. That, that they were they were inhuman. They were they were. Honestly, I what I think is weird, and I think that we should probably talk about more is I think it's weird that they put the final boss like just kind of in a random field. <laughs> Like that's oh, and the big tower fucking went away. I <laughs> the fucking lightning strike took the tower down. Now I gotta climb this fucking rock face in the rain. I'm not having a great day. This is Ganon is winning. Can you imagine if this is what happened? If this was the end of Link, and Ganon's like, "Good, good. How did you finally defeat him?" And they were like, well, uh, <laughs> about that, <laughs> I, it may not, look, I don't want to say, like, you probably shouldn't have struggled with this person, but, like, they they kind of did most of the work for us. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to do it. I mean, the rain's almost over. It's just, again, it's just, it comes back to rain. I'm like, it just never fucking ends. I wish I had 
some gorilla grip gloves that I could just like climb in the rain with, but the game says no. That was uh that was a lot. I didn't know that uh they could wield the Hylian shield. I didn't think that was a thing that could happen. I think I got wronged there. I Aren't you gonna eat? I I thought I had more, but I don't I think I'm on empty. Okay, Great so, voice acting. So now we have another problem. How are you gonna get that open? Oh my god, please. Okay. Alright, stamina, thanks. Okay. What is this light? Don't you don't you dare. Don't you it better be sun up. Okay. I thought it was a blood moon. Why is it still raining? It says it's cloudy. I'm getting upset. I don't know if you picked up on that. I think you're, are you're you uh, reasonably fat. Are you enough of a uh, of an empath to realize that I may not be thrilled at the moment? Oh, did I, I didn't I tell know. you. I didn't tell you that story. I don't know what story it is, so I can't comment. Probably not. You remember my. My friend that you do not like. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, You're trying so, to... Figure, we're about to end, so this is a story that's not broadcastable. Okay, I should, tell, yeah, I should probably tell you offline, but you'll be happy. I'll keep, yeah, we'll keep it. Just because you got a lot of fans. Yeah, yeah, weird, yeah. But. What do you mean it's weird? Carlos, I'm a very likable have... person. No. Okay. Well, what do you mean, no? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? I, <laughs> That's not the right answer. I don't. I don't want your your people to harass his people. I want. I don't want no harassment being done just because of the story. So no, we will. I will tell you offline. I mean, you should anyway. But I. I was more upset that you said no. Uh, yeah. So the reason I did this one is I knew that there was no shrine inside. It was just like, yeah. Oh, you found the shrine hidden in the wall. All right. Good enough. Even though there's a different shrine hidden in the wall that they're like, all right, and now a puzzle. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Why? But but the other one, the other one didn't. <laughs> it's a scale up and challenge. Yeah. Oh man, my back is killing me. My ankle really hurts. I I don't know what I did to it, but like I I like couldn't walk yesterday. That was uh that was concerning. Did you have a lot of sex? Uh, what are you doing that would hurt your ankle in sex, Carlos? I one to time. It's like you lift. You, you like you just really strain your like your, your ankle. How? <laughs> just like you know. You, yeah. 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 You just How? put a lot of energy up to you know lift. on the ankle. On the ankle. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know how, man. I was. <laughs> uh huh. Did, did, would you care to elaborate? Is there some more? <laughs> I could draw an image, but I can't describe. You know. All right, that'll be uh, that'll be it for this part. <laughs> Carlos, like, thank fucking god. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.